so far. With this prep, everything has been going swimmingly. It's been just like my last five preps with Chris. There's very little thinking involved. It's, um, it's like I'm on autopilot. And my body's matured to the point where I don't have to do anything crazy anymore to get in shape. I'm in shape pretty much anywhere from three to five weeks out from the show. Today we sit two and a half weeks out. I'm ready. I could drop my water today and be pretty much ready to go. So it's going great. I'm very happy with the way things are going. There's always challenges when you're prepping and you're at my stage of the game. I turned 41 in December, although I look pretty. I got a lot of aches and pains. I deal with them, I treat them, I get them taken care of. It's allowed me to train as good as I need to at this point. There's no need for me to be squatting 600 pounds. There's no need for me to be setting any records. It's more about blood flow, pump, lots of volume, burning calories and feeding the muscle. So I'm good, but yes, it's, there's been many challenges and I'm always up for the challenge. Not a whole lot is different in this prep. I have a friend here from Australia who's with me for the last six weeks. So that's kind of a positive, you know, another pro bodybuilder that I train with every day. So it's, it's been good to have a fresh person here, someone with some intensity, someone who's with the same passion for the sport as I do. Anyone who watches my videos knows I train with Michaela, my soon-to-be wife. She's a 100-pound bikini chick. She works hard, but it's just not the same as training with a 280-pound beast. Each year, my body's maturing and maturing. So there's new little details and new fibers popping out and new muscle and, and just a grainier look each time out. So bigger, fuller, grainier which all adds up to having better overall condition. I'm equal to, if not better than I've ever been. I feel that I don't have to say anything. A lot of people do say it, and they show up and disappoint. My last like five shows in a row, I've brought nothing but better and better and better and better. And I just let my track record do the speaking for me. Anyone who knows me knows I work hard, knows I expect to bring the best. But it's that element of surprise when you show up on stage with the, what the fuck is that kind of look, you know? I want to hear gasps of disgust. I want women and children to run out of the building when they see me because it's so filthy, rotten, disgusting to look at. That's my goal. I'm not there to, to be pretty. I'm not a model. I'm not a supermodel. I'm not, I want to be so inside out and twisted that it's undeniably the, the winner. A weekend like the Arnold Classic, where you have uh, close to half a million people show up for the city, and you're a professional bodybuilder, somewhat relatively well known, it's a free-for-all. Not anymore. Michaela is very supportive of me competing and pursuing my dreams and goals, and she does everything she can to help me. It's not a coincidence that my best showings have happened in the last two years while I've been with Miguel. While I've been at peace and, and at ease and you know, everything just works. Everything is planned out day to day, is, is well organized and, and stress free. I hope I'm different this year than I was last year. The whole idea of bodybuilding is to build. To build off your last appearance, your last performance to build and get better. And, and that's what I intend to do, that's what I've done. I feel like I have, I feel like I've added muscle in, in different places that I was lacking before. I feel like my condition is gonna look better because I'll be bigger, the shape of my physique will look better because I'm more rounded off. So yes, I think it's gonna be different in a positive way. And I can think and say all I want, but only time will tell, and in two and a half weeks, everyone will get the chance to see. You know, I'm the real deal. I've been around winning shows for 24 years now. It's
it's something I love to do, it's my passion, or I wouldn't do it. So I intend to be better, and I will be better. The best is yet to come.